Good evening. When you head to the polls in May, you'll have the choice to say yes or no to a $130 million proposal from FWCS. The referendum would fund upgrades at more than 40 buildings across the city. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner has more on why district leaders say these repairs are absolutely necessary. Sarah? We got to tour three schools today. Each one represents a different phase of referendum funding construction and gives a better idea of what getting this money could mean for Indiana's largest school district. Our first stop, Northrop High School, the largest project on the proposed referendum. Around $35 million would go to replacing these rusty pipes, renovating outdated classrooms, and getting lights where the bulbs are actually still manufactured. These really are essential functions to our students. Next, we head to Weiser Park Elementary on the city's southeast side. You can think of this school as our middle ground. Some improvements, like a renovated media center and a new entrance with more security, are already complete. With the tragic events that are happening all over the country and things like Sandy Hook, of course, that's really become an emphasis in schools. Some renovation is still in the works, like the lighting and several hallways. We're really just providing that comfortable space for our students to do their best. We end our tour at the home of the largest project from the 2012 referendum, Snyder High School. Overall, the entire building got a facelift. A renovated gym, cafeteria complete with modern lighting, and updated classrooms with whiteboards and inside locks are just some of the highlights. It's not necessarily adding uh, laptops and giving iPads to every kid. It's not putting turf on football fields. It is coming in and getting the classrooms up to a modern level of standard. This referendum would bring renovations like this to 42 of the district's 51 schools. FWCS wants to thank voters for their past support and ask for continued backing of these projects. If it's not approved, it, it really leaves a good population of our students um, really kind of back in the dark ages. The district wants to reassure voters the referendum won't raise property taxes if it's approved. Construction would start next year and be finished by 2023. In Studio 15, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.